Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today I have something special with me and that's uh, Johnny's E36. So he has like a full build E36 and uh, he's gonna share it with us. So here we have Johnny. Hi guys. So he's gonna tell us more about this beautiful E36. Um, I think we're gonna start with the exterior, yeah. as that's a, a big clue that it's not uh, stock anymore. No. So if we ju just start with the front, what do we have going on here? Yeah, well, originally it's a 328 Sport, 2.8 uh, M52. I'm sure you're all aware about it. Yeah, um, yeah just sort of transformed it into what yeah. it is now, really. So we got. The arrow catches and the vents, that's to um, like release heat? Or? Yeah, so we've got the vents facing forward to let the air in. Yeah. And then we've got the bonnet tilted slightly yeah. to let the air out. So yeah, you can see. So it, uh, it yeah. helps with uh, temps. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done some testing before and after. Um, and that alone brought the inlet air temps down uh, eight degrees. Oh, wow. So That's a big difference. Same day test as well. So sort of reliable. Yeah, accurate that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Obviously, you've got the ST track parts. Yeah, ST track parts, Great of course. Doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you like them? They were good? Brilliant. Perfect. Such a nice kit to yeah. install. Um, yeah. yeah, keeping the brakes nice yeah. and cool as, as you'd want. Yeah, and of course, the uh, the wheels, they look mega. What are they? Yeah, so they're, they're two different sets. So you have 17 by 9 front and rear. Yeah. Um, the first set are seven, uh, Team Dynamics Pro Races. Yeah. And the rears are t uh, Style 32s. Yeah. They're sort of temporary. I've just sourced another set of the Team dynamic, so they'll be on next time. Yeah, so they are the same size, both yeah. front 17, and rear. 17 by 9 square, front and rear, with a 255 section. Oh, 255, that's, 255, a, uh, that's a big tire. One. Yeah. And when we look at the brakes, those are not stock anymore. They look uh, a bit odd for an E36. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the brake kit, I sort of decided to go my own route. Yeah. Um, I knew the calipers, the Brembro uh, Megane R26 caliper. Uh, yeah, sorry. So they are Megane calipers? Yeah, it's a 265 uh, cal caliper. Oh, wow. um, so I sourced them and M3 CSL discs and I had some custom adapters made up. Wow. Yeah. So they are big brakes for yeah, a big price. Yeah, they're, they're a 345 disc. Um, and the pads? Are Carbon and Rain RC6 Plus. Oh, they bite. Very well. Yeah. Yeah, very well. And heat, they uh, handle it pretty well, right? Yeah, they take a bit to get the temperature into them. Uh, yeah. Uh, but once they're warm, very good. Okay. No problems. And I've got a PBS pad in the rear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the rears are not that important in terms no. of braking. And then on the rear, of course, we got the spoiler going on. Yeah, GT wing, a little additional gurney flap yeah. at the top. Um, yeah. Yeah, the rears is always a bit uh, more toned down on an E36. Yeah, not much to talk about over there. And we got the exhaust, Isomon, just yeah. the back box or? Isomon race back box, and then a custom made two and a half inch twin decap. Oh, decap, yeah. yeah. With yeah. the uh, M3 Evo manifolds. Oh yeah, they sound uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, the car sounds good. So should we move on to the big part with this car, and that's the engine? Yeah, yeah. the stroker engine. So yeah, no longer an M52. No. Um, the M52 originally was getting a bit tired, started to breathe a bit heavily. Um, so we decided to sort of go down a stroker route. We used an M50 bottom end, a steel block, used all ARP fasteners and bolts and st stuck with the original M52 head. So the M50 block because it's stronger or? Yeah, there's, there's a bit of issues with the, the, the studs for the main bolts oh, in yeah. the block and they can pull out. Uh, I know lots of people back in the back home struggle with it. So decided to go with the extra 20 kg of the block and have the strength. Laying it so, safe, yeah. Yeah. And we've got the M54 B30 rotating assembly. So crank rods and pistons. So it's a three liter now. Just a three liter, yeah. Um, when we done the conversion, we also converted the ECU to ECU Master. Oh, it's custom ECU, it's yeah. Custom ECU, yeah. ECU Master uh, Classic with the Bluetooth adapter as well, so it sends all the data from the ECU direct to your phone. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, M50 inlet at the minute. That's going to go to individual throttle bodies. I've got oh, a set wow. of Gen to go on. Um, and that will happen over the winter. So um, it's still not done yet. No, no, no. <laughs> it's still, still definitely not done. Um, but yeah, it was rolling roaded at this stage, just so I could use it this this year. And yep. basically do a couple of track days, a couple of ring trips. 
uh, it made 276 horsepower. Oh, that's M3 level power. Yeah. And two, I think it's two five eight pounds for a torque, so that's a, a decent increase yeah. over standard. So with these throttle bodies, are you looking at over three hundred? Maybe. Hard if to we guess. We can squeeze yeah. some more. If we can squeeze some more, happy days. If not, it's the response and the sound are more. Yeah. That's what I like about it, you know. Because now you got the Simota, that makes some noise as well. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But with the exhaust, it maybe drowns out a exactly. little bit more. Yeah. I think the throttle bodies would be a bit more fit in with yeah. the exhaust tone, so. And then, what else on the engine? The cooling system, what are we looking at? Is it still like stock? So or it's, like M3? it's an M3 radiator. Oh yeah, um, it's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. It's uh, got a different header tank on it. It's actually a Clio Sport header tank. Oh really? Yeah. That's uh, very unique. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy back in uh, England that I've seen do it, so I thought it was a nice, tasteful sort of mod. It's nice and clean. Um, electric fan as well. Yeah, electric fan. So got the big oil cooler in the front. Oh, oil cooler as well. Yeah. Did you notice a big difference in oil temps? Yeah, we did a back-to-back -back test, and without the oil cooler, it was sort of 15 degrees difference, and okay. that's just a normal road driver. Yeah. So. Yeah, on track it's going to be a yeah, bigger that, difference. Yeah. I don't see it over 90 degree track uh, oil temps. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 exactly. nice. Exactly. So it's sort of really good. For yeah. Engine. Yeah, it pulls pulls really hard, and with the engine bay we can. Look at this. So, what suspension are you running? So, it's a custom sprung rate BC coilover. Yeah. Uh, running a 12 and a 10 spring. So, is that two way or? No, it's just a, it's a one oh, way okay, it's yeah. a single adjustment. I think there's 16 points of adjustment. Oh, yeah. Uh, but again, it's it's a sort of go between set of coilovers to sort of as the build progresses and gets more serious, we'll move on to a, probably a Nitron or a Club Sport. Oh, yeah. That's uh, the bigger stuff. Yeah. It's a constantly evolving project. But it works project. right now, right? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, they, I think they're great coilovers. They're a bit of a one-trick pony. They're not so great in the road. Oh, on yeah. track, they're, they're a really good yeah, unit. Yeah, the road doesn't really yeah, matter that much. Exactly, exactly. Um, and they're with the second winter now, and they were standing sort of the corrosion and yeah. stuff. So I'm, I'm more than happy with them for now. Amazing. Yeah. So should we move on to the interior of what's left of it? <laughs> of course, a UK car, so this is the passenger side. So completely gutted. Oh, this is nice as well. Lightweight roof, because of course the sunroof is a heavy uh, piece of metal. Yeah, 30 kgs. Yeah. We made that out with all the gubbins yeah. and the, and the, all the bits and pieces. Yeah, 30, kilo, 30 kilograms removed from the top yeah. of the car, which is always good. Yeah. Um, Jeff Steele carbon door cards. Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah. Um, Corvo seats. Pro, uh, got a pro race seat. Obviously the shifter. Yeah, the shifter is nice as well. Cooler works. You like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. For the money, you, you can't go wrong. Yeah. It's brilliant. I think the CAE looks a bit nicer. And it's yeah. probably made a bit better, but for the money, you, you cannot go wrong. It's brilliant. Steering wheel is a OMP. OMP. Can't go wrong with an OMP nah, steering exactly. wheel. Yeah. One of my favourite parts of the car, I think, the steering wheel. Yeah, it and really we, changes the feel of yeah, the, the car. Yeah, absolutely. And just a rear safety devices cage. Yeah. For now, again, that will progress onto a full welding yeah. 245 cage. As money allows. Yeah, yeah. As with anything. We know the story. Exactly. <laughs> and then sad out harnesses. Yeah. So this is like a six point or a four point? Just a four point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And did you like repaint the interior or was it just this nice color black? No, when, uh, before I installed the cage, yeah. I just uh, rubbed everything down, removed all the sound deadening, all the sound deadeners, removed that as well. Yeah. So That's just, a pain to do. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible job. Yeah. But it had to be done. Yeah, it looks horrible. I think, yeah, it was in the region of 25 kilos of sound and it came out of the really? car. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so a lot. It's, it sounds like a small amount, but from here, there, and everywhere, it all adds up yeah. as well with the sunroof. That's already yeah. 50 kg. I mean, the it's car. It's easy way to remove. Yeah, when we corner weighted the car, it was, I think, 1201 or 1202 kgs. Yeah. With driver or without? With, with, with the driver simulation oh, yeah. as well, yeah. Should we take it for a drive? Absolutely.
As you can see, this is not the spot where we filmed, but that's because I forgot to film the outro. I want to thank Johnny for showing his car. I absolutely loved it. Um, we were planning to do a lap and show some onboard footage, but uh, when we wanted to do the lap, the track closed and didn't open again. So that's kind of a bummer. So uh, we'll have to do that next year once he got his ITBs and new suspension and more stuff. So thank you, Johnny. Love your car. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.